Windcraft's 1.20 update is out. Almost. Probably. Well, they released their 1.20 trailer around a week ago, so it's coming out soon, probably. And that trailer was enough to get me back into the game. So if we go to a world, you'll see I have two level 100 classes already. Both of which are Archer, because I like Archer. But the thing is, since the last time I did a full playthrough, Windcraft has been through a lot of updates. Like, I haven't even tried out the Shaman class yet, or the Interrode of Dern, despite them being out for a while now. And because I want to feel the full experience again, I'm going to start a new series where I play as the Shaman class for the first time. Let me just skip the tutorial real quick, because I've done that lots of times already. And we'll see how the Shaman class plays out. So yeah, as you've seen before, I did play Windcraft quite a bit already. So I'm just going to try to progress as fast as I can through the early game. Even though the fastest I can do probably isn't that fast. And something else I want to do is avoid using all my stuff from inside my bank. Because I do have a lot of stuff there that could help me progress faster. But I want to try get through this... You know, the normal way, the way that was intended, which means I'm going to do a lot of grinding again. So yeah, I'm not a speedrunner or anything, so it's not like I'm going to be going through this at lightning speed, but I at least know a little bit about the game, so I should be able to do things relatively quickly. And I've been wanting to do a Windcraft series for a while now, actually, but I've just been lazy, really, so I never got to it. And if you saw my other classes, the reason I didn't do Road to Dern yet is because, you know, like I said, I was lazy, so I didn't do it on my main class. And the class I've been playing a lot is a kills-only class that I've been just grinding out. So yeah, this is probably going to be my first run-through of the game that I've done in, like, I don't even know how long already. Like, the last time I did a full run-through was before the economy update, which... I don't even know how long ago that was. And then I forgot to try out the Shaman's abilities. Or spells. And I've never played Shaman before, like I said. So I don't exactly know the best way to use them. I don't think I even know what the totem does exactly. Like, I see it does damage, but... I don't know if it heals me or anything. I think it's supposed to heal me later on when I get upgrades. Okay, and since this isn't gonna be just a kills class like I've been doing, how about I actually do some of the quests? Because I haven't done those in like a long time. Okay, and let's start this quest real quick with Enzan. Okay, now I have to go run all the way back to where I was before. Or actually, let me see if there's any other quests I can do that's nearby, so I don't have to keep running back and forth. Uh, poisoning the pest, Cook's assistant, and I'm being killed. Aren't you guards supposed to be killing these zombies instead of dancing? Even the golems are dancing. And this guy's in a boat. Lots of people are in boats. You know, anyways. Uh, Cook's assistant... Tunnel Trouble and Sewers of Rogni. Cook's assistant is right here. I need two eggs, one bucket of milk, and three wheat grains. Uh, poisoning the Pest is nearby. Sewers of Rogni, I think I know where that is. And Tunnel Trouble. I don't think I know where this one is. Okay, Tunnel Trouble looks like it's actually kind of far away. Oh, is that the one in Nivla Forest down there? Oh, yeah, I see the beacon. So, yeah, I'll go do that one after I do the Enzans quest. So, let's just go over here where Poisoning the Pest is. And here's a side quest. I need Farming 8. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that they had professions here. And if you're a high pixel player, it's like skills, basically. Like you see here, it's wood cutting, which is basically foraging. And since I want this to be a full run through, that means I'm gonna eventually have to grind those out. And here is poisoning the pest. So just have to go into here or not. Did I not pick up the crate? I didn't. Oh, okay, there we go. Then just run across, get the crate, put it in the water. Go through the cutscene, and then go turn the sprinklers on, and he isn't- oh, now he's not invisible. Turn the sprinklers on. 
probably get frame drops as we watch him die. Watch him die a violent death. And then go back out to talk to... What's his name? Savalis. And there we go, we finished it. So now to do the baker's assistant, or cook's assistant, we have to go to the farm that's over here, which you'll see coming up right there. And I think Sewers of Rogni is right over there. So we'll do that on our way back. Oh, and a key guardian. Let's see if we can kill it and get a dungeon key. Okay, there we go. We have a decrepit sewers key, which we can use in that dungeon later, after we do the quest. Okay, and here is Katoa Ranch, and we can get the milk bucket. Then our three wheat, I think. Two eggs, one milk bucket, and three wheat. Oh wait, I have to get a hoe first, because it's not like it was before where you could just punch the wheat and get it. Let me just get eggs before I leave. If this is still how you get eggs. Okay, there's one egg. There's another egg. Right? Did I not pick them up? Oh, and there's another key guardian. Okay, so let me get tier one gathering hoe. I want me get tier one everything. And yeah, I'm walking over these eggs, but I'm not picking them up. Wait, are they going? They're in here. I have eight eggs already. Okay, well let's just get the wheat. And then we can leave to do the other quest. Where's the wheat that I'm picking up? Oh, it's wheat string. Is it not just normal wheat? Or is it right click to get wheat? Oh, that's how. I think. But what do I need again? Three wheat grains. So that's different. Before, when you would harvest stuff, you would have to go to like a processor after you gather it. And that's where you'd turn it into either the wheat grains or the wheat string. But now, you can just do it automatically when you're harvesting them. And you three wheat grains, one milk bucket, and two eggs. And now let's go run through this dungeon. Or at least do the quest for it. Who do I talk to? Genprest. Okay, and then we go up here, I think. Yes. And go into the pitch black darkness. And now I just run through the sewers. While we get jump scared. Except not actually because I have full bright on. And let's see what it looks like without full brightness. Oh, and there's parkour here. See him running across over here. There's something lurking in the water. Explosive. So where do we have to go? Up here. Oh, and we're flooding the place while I get FPS drops. And I'm turning full bright back on so I can actually see things. And now I have to run out of the sewers. Is it flooding behind us? I think it's supposed to. But I'm gonna kill these guys instead. This is the wrong way. Oh. Is this a boss fight? Don't hit me because I only have a chest plate. And what was that? Reaper's bone. One Reaper's bone to open the exit. Break the pillar. Oh, and failed because I'm bad at parkour. Oh. Hello. And exit. Probably. Oh, now it's flooding. Is it? Oh, I can't- oh, there, there it is. Explosive, I think. And we are out. And we finish this quest. Oh, and we get a chest plate for it. A better chest plate. Let me see what the dungeon merchant has. Because if they have a relic I can use. Combat 8. Uh, and it only takes one. And there's a talisman. Sure. I did say I wasn't gonna run through one, but... I'm doing it anyways. It's probably gonna be very slow, but oh well. I'm already inside. Let's see if my years of playing Windcraft makes this possible. How much do I need? I think I need 18. 18 of these decrepit sewer tokens. And let's try to not die this early into our run. Even though dying doesn't really mean anything, I wanna try and die as least times as possible. 
on to the next part. And now we parkour, which I'm bad at. But thankfully this isn't hard parkour. And now we do more killing. Oh, we got some ranged mobs this time. Oh, that's not good. These guys deal a lot of damage. I can don't get swarmed over there. I think I need 24. Or 26. Oh, this isn't a good place. Don't die. Can, can my totem kill him? Uh, there we go. Oh, don't die, don't die here. If I'm already dying here, could I even make it through this boss fight? Well, I have potions, so hopefully that's enough to keep me alive. Oh, and he followed me all the way here. No. Okay, well, you know, I did say I wanted to avoid dying. Well, you know what? How about we try that again? And I won't make you go through this a second time, so I'll just skip until I got to the same place as before. Okay, so I'm back to where I was before, and I just finished that quest over there. And this time, I'm not gonna do the dungeon, because I have even less stuff than I had last time. Kind of, because I got this birch wood relic, which is a little bit better than what I had before, which is the oak wood relic. So I do a little bit more damage, but I have zero armor, as you can see. So let's go finish the cook's assistant and get the royal cake slice which I will save for later. Are there any other quests around here? Infested plants that's up ahead. Underwater and I'll do that one later. Oh. Legendary spear because I can definitely use a spear as a shaman. I have this Epic chest plate that I got from the Decrepit Sewers quest. I need three more emeralds. Oh, right there, three emeralds. Okay, let's identify this chest plate. Can I use it? I cannot. Negative loot bonus uh, gives better XP though. I think that quest up there might get me to level 9 actually. Yeah, and the end to the Enzen's quest, Enzen's brothers, right here. And I got the Therix chain. I never really got into crafting before, so I don't know if it's good or not. And I need wood cutting eight for that. Is this gonna take a while? Okay, well I'm level four already, so I don't think it should take too long for me to get to level eight. Okay, well I'm high enough level to get the tier two axe. Twelve emeralds. I could sell these ingredients that I'm not using. Uh, what is it? Shift right click. So let me get that tier 2 axe. And kill this key guardian. Oh, and another key guardian. Don't die. And level 9, which means I can put this on. And level 8. Okay, so what's this side quest over here? Bring it 12 oak wood. Oh, I have enough. Okay, level 9 in woodcutting. And I think there's another side quest right there, which is gonna need spider string. Bring five forest webs. Okay, well, I should have enough string by now. Six. Do this and then. I think there's another quest a little bit down there. Yeah, where is it? Is there not a quest over here? I swear there used to be one. Here it is. I'm just blind. I have to go do more parkour, which I am definitely good at. And this is one of the quests that they changed since the last time I did a full run through. I remember a little bit about how to do it, but to me it's completely new for the most part. I think I need five. Don't die here. Uh, oh, I have boots. Do these stack or do I just need one? Uh, do I just need inventory space to pick up more? Okay, I'll take multiple just in case. I only need one, okay. Open this. And is that enough to finish the quest? Okay, there we go. It was my inventory too full to take everything. I think it was supposed to give me something, but my inventory couldn't hold it. 
one clean sack churum, whatever that is. Is this it? It is. So it just drops on the ground. Why can I not stack these? Well, I'll take this uh, unidentified spear. I won't take this. Okay, let's move on to debtless now. Oh, lots of stuff in here. Another legendary spear. I don't need more spears. Oh wait, and I unlocked my movement spell. Uh, it's not as spammable as something like Mage Teleporter Archer Escape, but at least I can move a little bit faster now. Okay, there's Tunnel Trouble. Uh, so it is this quest. I thought this one was the one you unlocked at like level 10 or something, but I guess I unlocked it at 5. Okay, well let me go into Debtless real quick to unlock the town, and I'll finish off this first video with this quest. So let's go in here, and the reward for this is basically fast travel between Debtless and Ragni. Right click. Yeah, so after I finish this quest, I'll go identify all the stuff I have. In the next video, I'll do one of the dungeons, the decrepit sewers. And since I actually have full armor and a decent weapon this time, I should be able to get through it without dying. And just slowly move through this. And then it should open right here. Yes, Drail. Okay, well, now we have to commit cow burglary in order to get this guy's help. Go free these cows. Go free these cows. If I can right click. Oh, he only spotted me. Okay. Let's do this quickly. Yeah, there we go. Actually did it this time. Time to send these cows off to gavel. And there they go. Okay, now let's go back to the actual quest. So I guess that was the actual quest. Drail should be coming out here eventually. There he is. All hail the Bovamist Church. Okay, and that's the end of this quest. So let me go back to Deadless. Then I can identify everything. Where's the identifier? Right here. Okay, so relic. Leggings, boots. Helmet. Spear. Okay, I can wear that. I can wear that. These are better than that. Is this better? It's fine for now. And that's pretty much it. This is going to be the first video of probably a long series. And I've been looking to try Windcraft again for a while now. So I'm finally getting to it after a long time. And yeah, I'll try not to do any quests off screen, and any grinding I do off screen will probably just be farming kills or doing professions. 